students, uh, we uh, derived the pressure uh, expression for pressure due to liquid column, and we got pressure is uh, rho g h. Let us uh, see a general method of uh, uh, finding the pressure uh, at different points. So let us understand uh, any other method in, if it is there, and obviously it is there, and that we will discuss. Suppose that so. So this is also that uh, is a second method. <laughs> Suppose uh, I have a container which contains liquid. And I consider a uh, hypothetical cross section or a small element of the liquid suppose this is the element i consider here cylindrical element uh, element this is a section of the liquid i consider so within the liquid this is the liquid i have considered and uh, this liquid is at rest since the liquid is at rest so this liquid also is at rest I call this uh, liquid element uh, having mass equals to dm, dm mass element uh, of the cylindrical portion of the liquid I have considered which is at rest. So for this to be at rest uh, it should be in equilibrium for the equilibrium of this cross section for equilibrium. So for equilibrium what I will do, uh, I will uh, calculate the forces acting on this uh, portion of the liquid and uh, that should cancel out each other. So net force would be zero. To find the net force to be zero, I will see uh, what are the forces that is acting on this. Suppose the area of cross section here is uh, dA. So I'll draw this here. This area of cross section is dA. This area of cross section is also dA. Now, uh, because this mass is dm, so weight will be acting vertical downward. This is uh, dm mass into g. That is the weight of this uh, portion of the liquid. And the downward is acting perpendicular to the surface. So this surface, the force uh, due to the liquid uh, present above it because of these uh, points, uh, the liquid column above it. So suppose this point is one and this point is two. So I have uh, two points at point one. I have got pressure due to this uh, height of this liquid column present above it, and the pressure is suppose. Uh, the uh, I'll consider uh, suppose this is my base level. I'll consider this as the base level. Suppose this is the base. I consider this as the base or reference line. This is the reference level, and uh, this reference level starting from zero. Suppose the pressure uh, here. Uh, so I call this is one and this is two because I am going in this direction. I'll call this one and this is two. So at this point uh, here, the pressure is supposed P. If the pressure is P here, then uh, the force will be pressure into the area of cross section. Suppose this is uh, dA is the area of cross section, and therefore this is the pressure that is acting at this point. So pressure into area is the force. This is the force acting on this portion of this lower portion of the cylindrical uh, element, uh, liquid element that I have considered. So I will write draw here. This is uh, P dA. And at the height as I move up, I don't know. I write that uh, suppose that I consider that the pressure is increasing as I move up. 
it might be wrong then i will see if it coming out to be that or to different the pressure at this point i consider as uh, p plus uh, dp suppose uh, by increasing of uh, when i move uh, through a distance suppose i move by distance dy because this is my y direction and uh, as i move uh, along this direction along y direction and <coughs> this is at a y, height y and uh, this is dy so this point one uh, is at a distance y and this point two is at a distance y plus dy this is how this uh, portion is located in y direction so here this is the pressure and uh, the area of cross section is da so this is what is the pressure that this is the force this is the force that downward for this uh, cylindrical section to be at uh, equilibrium then the total uh, for equilibrium total upward force must be equal to total total downward force force upward force downward should be equal and in the downward direction the two forces this force uh, gravitational force and the pressure at the top of this uh, uh, cylinder and the uh, bottom it is up this is the uh, upward force and these two are the downward force i'll balance out so upward force is pda and the downward force is uh, p plus dp into da plus of uh, dm into g okay now okay, let us uh, use another slide for that pda is equal to p plus dp da plus dmg i have just rewritten that equation again now this pda equals to i will open the bracket this is pda plus dpda plus uh, dm is a mass of the this element and how much uh, water is present here the mass of that water mass is uh, density into volume density is obviously density of water is rho and uh, all the liquid that are taken and the rho uh, then density volume volume is uh, this area cross section i consider da this length i consider dy so area of cross section into height that is rho da dy this is the volume so this is the volume mass is uh, density into this is the volume this one is the volume da dy into g so this is how you find this then <coughs> i can uh, cancel out da 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 this is left with p equals to p plus dp plus rho dy into z <coughs> now this p is the pressure uh, then uh, okay then i can cancel also this out because this comes to this side this will become zero and uh, this comes to this side because minus so is my dp equals to minus rho dy into g okay this is a comes to this side becomes zero and then uh, this is brought to the other side becomes negative this is positive okay now what is the situation that dp is the change in pressure as i move from here to here the pressure increasing is by dp but the minus sign so that the actually the pressure is decreasing so as you move off in the y direction as we move up in y direction the pressure is actually decreasing from 1 to 2 the pressure will decrease from p to p minus dp it is not p plus dp but again we have assumed it and it comes out to be negative that means pressure is actually decreasing so this is the expression if i use this uh, expression so as you move up there is a variation of pressure and that is decreasing by this amount and i have considered uh, those two points uh, this is a point number one and this is a point number two 
if I use proper uh, limit, then uh, I will integrate this to get a proper answer. By integrating this on both sides of the equation, I'll have dp equals to minus 0 dy integration. So, if my container is having a base, if I consider the base here, if I consider point here, then uh, I can uh, take this point to the top of here. Then uh, the height, of, the total height is suppose uh, h. Then uh, this point and this point is at a distance of h apart. This is the total height of the liquid column present. Then uh, if I generalize it uh, starting from here, suppose the pressure here is P1 and this point is taken to this point, this uh, top of the surface and this point uh, is taken to the bottom of the surface. Then I will integrate it from P1 to P2, P1 to P2 and uh, this is uh, dy is starting from uh, 0 to h because uh, the lower point the uh, base level uh, y where quantity is 0 and the highest point on uh, the free surface of the liquid the height is h so this is uh, y equals to h and this is y equals to 0 if i integrate that and what i will get i will uh, get this as uh, p2 minus p1 equals to minus 0 and uh, y minus uh, y minus 0 and that varies from uh, 0 to h so it is minus 0 h so p2 minus p1 is this much in the container if i draw the diagram again i consider the bottom of the cylindrical cross section that i considered uh, i have shifted that point to the bottom so this point is one and the upper part of the cylinder uh, cylindrical cross section i have shifted to the surface so this point is the point number two this height i have taken as h so the p2 stands for the pressure at uh, this point p1 stands for the pressure at this point p2 stands for the pressure at this point then uh, if i have this situation then uh, i will put a p2 or i am interested in p1 i'm writing p1 as uh, p2 plus uh, rho g h okay this comes to that side that goes to the other side and this is the pressure at this bottom pressure at the bottom here p1 equals to p2 p2 is nothing but that is equal to atmospheric pressure p2 equals to atmospheric pressure because this is exposed to atmosphere so i write p0 plus rho g h so the pressure at any height say at the base of the liquid at the point which is lying h below the free surface of the liquid i am getting p1 equals to p0 rho g h and that is what earlier we derived this p1 we took as p and we wrote p equals to p0 plus rho g h in the last in the first method we just wrote this we got the height due to liquid column as rho g h this is the pressure contribution to the height of the liquid column that is called gas pressure this is the atmospheric pressure and this is the total pressure at bottom so depending on uh, where the the p1 i consider i can consider p1 here this i can consider this point here here or anywhere else depending on that i will get the pressure total pressure or i can only get the gauge pressure so this is also a method to analyze and uh, actually realize how this uh, formula was derived earlier i derived that uh, simply by considering the weight is uh, mass into mass into g divided by area mass density volume and uh, g by area, area of cross section then i divided it and get rho gh directly i get that simple but then uh, this is how you get the feeling that uh, this is how it's derived so general expression uh, pressure is uh, you can remember this uh, uh, formula this is a very good formula you can remember and this is how the pressure varies dp integration p1 to p2 
and that dy varies from y to 0. You can change these two points uh, according to your choice. You can find the pressure difference between any two any two points. Suppose if I am interested in this point and this point, suppose this point number 3 and 4, then I can apply that formula dp equals to minus rho g dy that I will integrate from this side to this side. So this is uh, pressure at 3 and this is pressure at 4 and then uh, this is uh, y3 and uh, y4 suppose i call this is y3 and this is y4 so accordingly if i get that then this gives me the pressure difference obviously it's negative that means this pressure is uh, lower than this pressure if i invert this uh, from here to here or here to here then this i will change suppose this is p4 to p3 then it become positive so that means uh, p3 minus p4 that will give you this this minus this this should be positive so this is a general formula you can remember for uh, uh, jwe or any other exam you must remember this formula rather than this formula okay thank you very much